Introducing the all new Corolla. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Today, the island paid tribute to the patron saints of Guam, Santa Maria and Camelin, also known as Our Lady of Cameron. Masses for the Immaculate Conception began this morning and are running through the evening. Archbishop Anthony Aperon says the celebration is a way for island residents to show their devotion to the patron saints of Guam. And for us, the Chamorros and the people who live on Guam, we have a great reverence to Our Lady and the statue behind me is a copy of the real one that's up there that will shortly be taken down to be put in the carosa for the procession this afternoon. I mean, we've been praying in the Vena for nine nights and this will be the ninth day of today, this afternoon at 3.30, the Rosary and the Novena. Every night we were having a, a, a Mass and the Novena with angels and archangels, you know, they surround her at the end and then lift up flowers for, for her as a, as a symbol of devotion, really, and love that the people have to Our Lady because she has been our protectress of our island. Normally celebrated on December 8th, the Archdiocese says this year the feast will be observed on December 9th because Sunday, December 8th, is the second Sunday of Advent. The Feast of the Immaculate Conception is marked each year by a procession around Hagatnya with a statue of Our Lady of Cameron. We ask residents why it is important that we celebrate each year. I think it's important because um, distinct to our island, we have um, a Santa Maria Cameron when she comes out once every year and today is one of the days she comes out. And then um, I think it's important for the Catholic community to come together and pray because it's also a holy day of obligation and then we can um, like cohesively come together and celebrate that as an island. Since Guam has been discovered by the Spanish and then canon uh, Christianized by the Spanish, the Our Lady of Cameron has always been the patroness of Guam and every year we honor her and, and the biggest honor that we can ever present is our uh, ex expressing our faith in the Blessed Mother through the procession uh, on December 8th. So that's more or less the reason why we're all here. Um, I feel really honored about being a part of this because it's not only like one church or one parish, it's all the parishes together and not everyone around the world gets to do what we get to do on this special day. Rosal Romanes, PNC News.